The sexiest thing a woman can do for a man is learn to love his gas. Love the gas, Meg. Love it! <laughs> no, 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 Meg! No, no! This, this is why we're here. This is why we're here. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we are back to check out a compilation that I've wanted to watch for a long time. Meg getting bullied in Family Guy. Now I've got some South Park on the way. I've got some American Dad and other stuff I'm watching, but I'm just so happy to be able to watch my favorite cartoon again. I'm gonna try not to laugh, but I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It's probably not gonna go that good. Let's do this. Dad, what is it? What's going on? I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? <laughs> oh. oh God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Will you stop it! Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> oh! Hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. What? Hey, Meg, you sure look hot today. What? <laughs> hey, Meg, I lit your scalp on fire. <laughs> Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? Ah, damn it, Meg! Oh. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh! Ah! Meg, your mother made soup for you. Here you go, honey. <laughs> well, you know who does love you? The Lord. Here's your milk. Ah, sorry, Peter. I can't make it tonight. I have a date. Dad! Everybody ah! spit on Meg. Stop! Stop! I can't do it because there are burglars down there. Where I'm from, when you spit on somebody, we call that prison lubrication. Uh, not that I've ever been to jail, but I just hear that's what they do. You got to grease them up somehow, man. That's the only way to... Come on, they're not going to touch you. You're covered with spit. There's Meg walking down the street. Hey, Meg! Hanging out with all your friends. <laughs> hey, wow. well, the ocean's that way. <laughs> That's a good one, too. All right, let's figure a way to get out of here. My father can't give me away because he's dead. <laughs> well, then Peter would be happy to do the honors. Plus, when's the next time you're going to get to give a bride away? I know. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can give me away when I get married, Dad. <laughs> Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful just the way you... <laughs> oh, God. Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. Hey, Dad, am I ugly? Well, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna become a model. Hey, that's fantastic, Lois. And I'll pleasure myself to your photos. Me too. Me too. Ah, oh, oh, God, Meg, that's sick. That's your mother. I'm just trying to fit in. Get out. Get out of this house. <laughs> I said no. Ah, that's good about your modeling, Lois. Okay with mom parading herself around like this. I mean, she's half naked. It makes all women look bad. Meg, who let you back in the house? But no, no, Peter, you can't have sex with the kids. Well, I wish you told him that before he lost his memory. <gasps> it was a joke. I was just making a joke. That's your sense of humor? I was just kidding. God. Meg, that's awful. Jeez, you open your mouth for a joke once and that's what you come up with? That's messed up, Meg. I was just trying to be funny. That wasn't funny. That was just dark. Yeah, that's your father. Oh, get out, Meg. Get out of the kitchen. Go on. Get out. Out, out, out. <clears throat> Out of the kitchen! Go on! You get out of here! <laughs> okay, we want to play the feud. Well, you're in luck. The other family we've chosen has three daughters, so we're picking you because you have three sons. But I'm not- Shut up, Greg. <laughs> hey, everybody! Ah! Meg just had her first period! Peter! Shut up! It's three in the morning! What the hell's going on out there? Damn it, people are trying to sleep! I'm just saying, I'm proud of her! She's a woman! Yay! Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning, but right now I am exhausted! Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Ah! Dad! Get away from me! Uh-oh, Peter's you! Peter's coming to get you! Here comes Peter's fart! Here comes coming to get you! Oh, in the kitchen, Meg! Mom, have you seen my trapper keeper? 
Am I just violent or is that clearly a fight? Somebody fart directly into your eyeball by shoving your face into their anus. I can't do it. I can't even do it. I'm a lame egg. <laughs> Family guy over on the Foxy. Sure did, Peter. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, you're a smart fella, Dad. And you're a fart smeller, Meg. <laughs> Let's go home. Dad, why are we just sitting here? Just give me a minute, Meg. What am I supposed to be learning about dating from... <sighs> oh, my God, Dad, you farted! That is so nasty! <laughs> no, 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 Meg, Meg, this is crucial, all right? The sexiest thing a woman can do for a man is learn to love his gas. Love the gas, Meg. Love it! <laughs> No, 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 Meg, no, no, this, this is why we're here, this is why we're here, this is why we're here. What the hell? Hey, Chris, get in here. I can't, man, this is impossible, this right? Funny, man. All of Meg's farts here in this box? I would think that's impossible. Yeah, right, that's impossible. Don't smell it. Yep. Is this the box? Yeah, that's it. Yep. You yeah, sick that's mother, you nasty know, motherfucker. Right, okay, all right, I'm opening it. You nasty. Unless whoever sent it was magic. Oh, well, now that's interesting. Own personal driver. My own driver? Holy crap, that's awesome. Where is he? She's right here, Peter. Meg. Yeah, Dad? I don't mind driving you around till you get your license back. What? Lois, this is the best you could do? Well, it was either Meg or a talking monkey smoking a cigar, but I didn't think you'd like that. I've already accepted another job. Lois, you picked the opposite thing that I would like. That's all right. I would have driven you bananas. Oh, oh, and he makes jokes. Nice going, Lois. <laughs> Dad, are you ready? <laughs> oh, Stewie, how exciting. Your first visit to a real fire station. Yeah, you kids always loved your first trip to the fire station. You remember when we took Meg? Hey, Miss oh! well, Actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. <laughs> Superman! <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Bonnie, uh, listen, why don't you stop with the questions, huh? You're, you're ruining everyone's good time. Like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, no! uh, moving on. So, uh, I finally tried Viagra, and, uh... Oh! Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You, uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So, anyway, who hates flying? Ah! That ought to keep ah! more away. Peter, what the hell is that? Well, listen, I'm tired of Mort always mooching off us, so I made a scared you. Peter, we're not gonna have this in our front yard. It's race... <laughs> Child says dying hurts. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> That's got me crying, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Sister, for God's sake, you ruined your best suit. Now we're gonna have to get you a new one. Shh, shh, Lois, Lois, look. Hey guys, I just wanted to return you. Oh, oh my God, it's Hitler. He's back. He's back. Hurry, protect John Stewart. He's our most important Jew. So what can I do for you, Peter? Well, Joe, I need to talk to you about something kind of personal. Shoot. Well, you know, I took this test, and uh, it sort of turns out that I'm technically mentally retarded. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, and well, now you're just splitting hairs. Hear me? Bad. Bad dog. So we understand each other? Yeah, I'll be good. Trust me. I saw what you did to that black belt. I don't care what color your belt is. You're a child, and I am stronger than you. <laughs> what it is, I want you to guess. D just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a sucker horn! I know what it is! That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. Gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. 
Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. And oh, three weeks, no. and you haven't had a single job lead. Now, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. What? She's dead. I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. <laughs> Oh my god, this has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? What did you just call me? I, I, I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Could you pass me the or, n-word? Excuse me. I'd like to say a couple of truths to the men in this audience. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up! Don't you judge the Mittens that way! Mittens is a member of this family! Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. What? All right, gentlemen. Let's see how Glenn's private date with Brooke is going. Oh, my God, Peter, it looks like there's been a break-in. Uh, do you think so? <laughs> hey, uh, Brooke, what do you say we get you some more champagne? Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, <laughs> forgot about you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess the <your> date's over. <laughs> Good night, Brooke. Thanks for a lovely evening. <laughs> that was at that stock car race. All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. The comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember your face. Mr. Quagmire? What are you doing in here? This is my base of operations. Uh, Mr. Quagmire, the girls' gym class will be in the showers in 20 minutes. Thank you, Shirley. She's been with me 12 years. It's her birthday today. Didn't get her anything. Oh, no. So I guess you heard about the fight, huh? Oh, yeah, they're talking about it in all the girls' bathrooms. <gasps> Why aren't what? you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. Oh. It doesn't have to be a two-cola system. RC is what keeps the big guys on their toes. You know what RC stands for, don't you? Chicks rule. Cool. What? She was dyslexic. Oh. Anyway, that was the beginning Ooh. of a long, Ooh. abusive Ooh. relationship. Ooh. It's one thing if you put your penis Ooh. inside out in the safety of your own bedroom. Ooh. But to oh. have it done in the cafeteria? Shit. To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about rape. <laughs> now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Oh! All right, Meg, remember what I taught you. Relax my throat and make eye contact? No, no, the fighting stuff. No! I was wondering if I could borrow some roofies. Oh, sure, sure, just a sec. Roofies, huh? Pretty big pill for such a little girl. Yeah, I know. But I asked someone to do me a favor, and they're not too keen on doing it. Oh, I know what they're for, honey. Seeing anyone special these days? Yay, obviously, right? <laughs> right, of course, yeah. Okay, well, listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. No! Here's your baby. What? She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scob him for life. 
Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! <laughs> I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> this family is what's best for Anna Lee. <laughs> this is her home now. I gotta let her go. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Quagmire. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! What's going on? <laughs> Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a couple hours. You smoke? Now you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. Oh! I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? No! Who starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't, don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. <laughs> my STDs help it burn brighter. <laughs> Greater words were never said. Oh, boy. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. You'd do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put her there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing it. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 no! Peter, make him stop! <laughs> Hey, what do you got going on down there, Quagmire? You, you got a you got a rodent situation? No! Oh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front. Tony, come back! Peter, jury duty is an important what? cornerstone in our democratic society. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. So, how long you been in beauty school? Two months. Well, tonight we're doing facials. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay street. i tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Since boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about no! it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. But in this universe, Christianity never existed, which means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. Hey, look, there's Quagmire. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. They're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? Oh, Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire.
Hi. Bye. Well, sex is overrated. Stay out of this, Joe. All right, look, forget the party. We got a more important mission now. Your 2,000-year-long cold streak is about to come to an end. What do you mean? I'm saying, Jesus, we are going to help you lose your virginity. <laughs> These are all of Quagmire's women organized by country. There's Brazil. There's Italy. And there's Thailand. Wow. Wow. They're young. We should go. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly, you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're going to get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! Oh. Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time! From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys! Hmm. Yeah. Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you judge the Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're going to have to change your tone. Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. Oh, my God. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. You could get a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Get the hair transplant. Come back to us. You're right. This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go. That's pretty gross. Would you just sit down and go to the bathroom already? I'm sorry, but Mondays are Asian only. Why is your last name Wong? It's my married name. Now I see why you're here. Jeez, what was that about? Ah, a little scheduling mix-up. I am just so busy, I don't have any time to organize my own life. Wait a minute, what if you had someone to help keep you organized? Chris is looking for work, maybe he can help you out, be your assistant. Huh, maybe. Do you have any references? Uh, cowabunga, swing, yada yada yada. Those are pretty good references. You're hired. Okay, Chris, I think you're gonna be a great assistant. Your paperwork appears to be in order, but before we get started, do you own a pair of rubber boots that you'd have to wear if you worked on a fishing boat? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, I guess it'll be a light day today, but tomorrow you should come wearing those. Okay, got it. Now, the first thing I need you to do every morning is punch me in the stomach because I'm a bad person. Is this a trick? It's the furthest thing from a trick. Go ahead. And it should be pretty hard. I'm a worse person than you think. <gasps> okay, that's really good. Now I need you to call Time Warner about my cable bill. Could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think. It, no. I, uh, you know, I'm 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 sorry, Peter. I, I gotta I gotta get back. Ah! Oh my God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Kickity. Oh, I say that. Hey, there's another note. Glenn, this is your child. Next time, wear a condom. Jerk. Oh, that's the note from earlier. 
I need a file cabinet. What do you say we hit another bar? Keep it going. I can't. There's a girl tied up in my basement who needs some food. That's funny. You funny, pointy man. Yeah, I, I joke around a lot. Yeah! Let go, All Carter! Right. Get some! Get some! Hey, Joe, that's like right in my f***ing ear. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. No, no, not all right. Hi, Angela. I'm Peter's friend, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your home. And um, I would have had sex with you, but Peter neglected to tell me that you are a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> Some friend, huh? Okay. All right. Take it easy. <sighs> How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. Oh, look, Chris, here's your costume from the year you went as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah fa fast forward ahead. Forward, forward, keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. God, I look huge in that bed, don't I? Your blowout looks nice. Oh, thanks. So, um, I noticed a yoga mat in the back of your car. How often do you do yoga? Is everything all right? Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. My, um, my, my dad locked himself out of his car. Oh, sorry. Do you need to help him? Uh, no, uh, no, he um he broke uh broke the window with his foot, high heel. My dad's a woman now. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky we came here. I almost suggested Mickey D's. <laughs> oh my god. That's so informal. Are you talking about McDonald's? Yeah, yeah. Another thing I was just thinking about is Amber Alert, white Honda Accord, license plate. Yeah, uh, I mean, Pinterest sure has some neat pictures of sinks. Doesn't it? Listen, what if we just bail on dinner and head back to my place? Great, I'm in. Wait, you have to pay for the bread. Hey! Ah! Ah! You have to pay for the bread. Ah! You have to pay for the bread! You have to pay for the bread! The bread! <laughs> you have to pay for the bread! <laughs> oh, hi, Glenn. I haven't seen you in a while. How are things with Monica? Who? Monica, y your hot date from the other night. Oh, yeah, I plowed her. Thanks again. But, but I thought she was the one. Yeah, no, what I realized is that all those texts you sent me, they're like my Bible now. I just keep using these same tips on different women. I owe you, Lois. You've opened up a whole world of middle-aged legs to me. Oh, my God. Quagmire's terrorizing middle-aged women, and I'm responsible for it. I've created a monster. Oh, no. My Luna Bar for women. Gotta let that stick open. Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm looking for anything by Mike Bubble? It's Bublé, you idiot! Oh, hey, Lo. Ow! That feels great! Glenn Quagmire, I tried to help you meet a nice woman, but you just couldn't help yourself, could you? What are you talking about? I thought I was helping you find love, and instead you used me as a tool to get down every middle-aged woman's pants in town. Slacks, Lois. They call them slacks. You wouldn't know that if it wasn't for me! <sighs> You're right. You were kind to me, and I took advantage of it. I owe you an apology. Well, thank you. Here, let me make it up to you. 
I'll buy you a coffee. And do you like the music of Ray La Mountain? La Montaigne. Thank you. Hey, beautiful, you want to take a pointless girl stride walk and listen to Ray Lamontaine? Sure. Great. See you, Lois. I'm entitled to these things, Lois, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. Ew. What you want? What you want for Christmas? What do you mean by that? Christmas. Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old-timey... Too late. Take too long. Sad oh. Christmas. Oh. What you want? Fire truck. What color? Red. Next. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? Spencer's Cleaners. Super Cowboy USA, Hot Dog Rocket Ship, American That's Cleaners, probably it. one. Yeah, probably, yeah. At least it didn't say, nigga, like in Don't Be a Middle Society while drinking your juice in the hood. Nigga. Yep, there it is. Stop make bing Shit. bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. Damn. Bye, Patty. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids lining up to be the first ones in school tomorrow. Wow. Go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you lose focus. Damn, lost focus. Life over. Oh, shit! I would feel bad for anybody who would feel so much pressure from doing well at school or anywhere where they would just decide to finish themselves off and not even on Pornhub again. And the worst thing is that he he's not even a douche. He's a, he's a nice guy. I like him. Oh, yeah. honey, that sounds awful. I know what'll cheer you up. You want to scratch my pet rabbit Steven on his nose with your index finger? Yes. I like rabbits because you can pull their ears back and make them look like Asian people. -na 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 -na. <laughs> Give me color. Give me redis. That is amazingly racist. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Must now, be did COVID you get a look at the man too? who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any? Any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Yeah, we could really turn this place around. <laughs> Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. All right, now. Next up, we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? Usually batteries, gum. I've also stole uh, bike inner tubes before. When I was younger, we were broke and poor, so we had to steal or just not have stuff. I picked stealing. You stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember your face. Oh. So it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's Chinese! Oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. <laughs> Because apparently they like Mortal Kombat 10 or 11 fatality, you're a black ass if you're an Asian girl, which I've never confirmed that. You, know? you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. I thought, that was, I thought that was a Compact, condom. hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. 
Look, Dad, this isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come oh. on. Do math. Really? That's racist. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Wow. Here, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Are there? Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Godzilla. Oh Godzilla? my God. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Why would you stand there for that? <gasps> American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. What the fuck? That's convenient. Welcome, American Johnny. That's we give the only best room for you. Would you like smoking or chain smoking? Uh, chain smoking, smoke. I guess. Yes, and how many ridiculous things would you like your toilet to do? Do you have one that goes yum, 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 yum? Ah, presidential suite. Fine, I go. But they got a toilet that gobbles your poop and makes pleasurable sounds while doing it? Sign me up immediately. Because females, man, they be, oh my God, I already ate today. It's like, yo, like, come on, dude. Like, you know? But there's no over. I take picture of Ang Lee. Good. He do too many white people movie anyway. You no come back ah! ever! I know like you American. And all you American look alike! Oh, we all look alike, do we? Well, look who's talking. Huh? Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. What the? What? No! Oh. Ooh. Stewie, what are you doing? Oh, just doing a little Tai Chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! Suction cup feel good. Suction cup. These guys have been watching the boys too much because the deep was having sex with all of the animals, man. Something that I've been trying to do for years. I just could never get past that gate that they have at the zoo. Their security is very, very thorough. Well, I'm glad you get to go out in public again, Brian. Well, I'm glad you, Chris, and Meg are back from that Christian camp. Hey, where is Meg, anyway? Oh, she was so mad I dragged her to Christian camp, she ran away to live with a Japanese family. Come on, Meg. <laughs> family Guy over on the Foxy. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Wow! No! I don't know which way the horse goes. Ah! No! Why is that guy laughing at me? No! Is he? There was a time limit? Nobody no! told me that. What? Ah! What? Time for a good door or bad door? Wait, how bad is the bad door? Ah! What? I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I went to this Hollywood party one time and this female, she hit me with a whip. I guess she thought she was being nasty, not knowing that, you know, I, I was abused as a child, bro. And I refused to have that happen to me as an adult. 
So when she hit me with the whip, I pushed the hoe. I have too much PTSD to be getting beaten as an adult with a white bitch with a whip. This hoe really thought shit was sweet. I'm like, bitch, what the, who the fuck? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Oh. Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. Mm. The game is still going on? Oh, <laughs> you lose chess. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. What do you mean we can't go there anymore? Who gives a crap? We'll get a new cleaners. They're all the same. They are not all the same. Peter, I have been going to Mr. Washi Washi for 10 years, and I am not finding another dry cleaner. Now, we are going to invite him over for dinner, and you are going to apologize. No. All right, fine. Hello. Hi, Mr. Washi Washi. It's Peter Griffin. Um, my wife wants to invite you over for dinner. What you having? Number 32. Ooh. From now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. What? How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. No! No! <laughs> oh, I gotta see that again, man. That is, oh boy. Signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. No! <laughs> it really be like that, bro. I swear to God, dude. And I only say that because my sister is like that. That's how she drives. She ain't even Asian. No bullshit. She'll have her kids in the car and everything, bro. Change six lanes, won't look at the mirror. Expects you to just know when she's turning her car. It's your job to know when she's switching lanes, not hers. Oh my God, look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? <laughs> That's racist. Ah, just kidding. As you are aware, Asians are known for their great sense of humor and enormous genitalia and respect for non-Asians and no. for being polite. Now, no. give me big American food, you fat, ugly, Kojak, bang, bang, American fat souls. Couldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> this is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. <laughs> Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Oh! Oh! oh. Faster! And sumo oh. tonight. Brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly Wabbit, Tricks are for kids. You share! Oh! Shit! <laughs> what? No, bro. Is it bad that when he said Asian tricks, I thought he meant prostitutes. I swear to God. I was like, oh, snap. They got prostitutes on here? <laughs> we gonna edit that out. <laughs> Three's Company, Asian Town. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. You're watching CBS. Asian Town. What do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? Quite BMW! Uh, What's wrong, uh, little boy? Don't uh, be scared of Santa. Come on, Stewie, it's okay. Just sit on Santa's lap. Ugh. Ugh, some people push their kids to do stuff way too soon. Do you agree, Dr. Baby Violin? I really do. I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. No. Good luck, everybody else. No! 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 And there's the Vietnam War Memorial. Hey, check out that <laughs> Vietnamese guy giving the business to those Vietnam vets. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Oh, what happened to your friend? Yo! Hey, I know that guy. I kill him. He cried like a Yo! bitch. Vietnam undefeated. Twirl that long hair sticking out of your face, mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> so what do you think, Diane? Can I cook or what? I'm delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> oh, my God. 
They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. That's crazy. They're just going to be hungry again in an hour. Ah! We now go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for the reaction to our hilarious prank. Tom, I'm leaving ah! here having attempted to die with dignity. Ah! If I should survive this, I'm going to slit your throat, round eye. Oh. Tom? Korean commercial Ashton Kutcher thought no one in America would ever see. Have you ever killed a dog while driving drunk and then been upset that there was no way for your car engine to cook it for you on the rest of the drive home? Yes. Well, those days are over. Thanks to Dr. Lee's Pet Engine Cooking Bag. Ah, oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can't remember the last time we went away for the weekend. What do you mean? We went to that Asian magic show. Now, as you can clearly see, I have a pen. Now, watch it disappear. Oh. And now... Oh, he bring it back. That is amazingly racist. I've never even seen that one before. Trisha Takanawa, what are you doing here? Peter, I'm standing here on your front porch hoping to kill that dolphin with this harpoon. Japan, they kill things that we like. All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math, and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the... Driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> All right, time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. I don't know nothing about this place. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. Ha, huh, shocker. God gets it right. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, Joe. These aren't done. The inside's colder than an Asian in-law. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. It's a pleasure Where to meet... Where do you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard. Not real school. What you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200000 per year. Welcome to family. It's like that. Not just with Asian families, but every family. I've had similar situations happen. It's hilarious. Bing bong, thank you for invite. Oh, of course. Please come in. Hey, Brian, I bet he thinks you're what's for dinner. Come on, that's a racist stereotype. So, when do we eat dog? Oh. We now return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. My tiny dog. I'm gonna put it in my tiny purse. <laughs> tiny phone. <laughs> tiny everything. <laughs> oh! Why are they so? Hey, thanks greasy? for helping me pick out a new computer, you guys. Oh, no problem, Quagmire. God, this place is always so crowded. We gotta find someone who works here. Can I help you, sir? Sorry, all I got is a quarter, pal. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, my buddy here is looking for a wow! computer. I would like to elect you president. Wow! It's really like that, being a black guy. If I wear glasses, people see me as less threatening and a lot more relatable. They're more comfortable around me. If I'm not wearing glasses or some sort of suit or something, they think I'm a drug dealer. I've been told that before. You sell drugs. <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna get a new phone while we're here? Maybe, but I gotta see which one I wanna take in and out of my pocket every 30 seconds for the next six years. What do you think, Peter? Peter? I touched the iPhone headphone. Now if I could just find someone to wear this hero hat. <gasps> I think I found him. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. <laughs> well, I better get to work then. But I seriously doubt that I'll be able to pull this off. Hey, come on. Anything's possible. Like when that Starbucks cup made it onto Game of Thrones. This is it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hey! Oh, my God. That's so cool. I can't believe this. What's the internet saying? They, they thought you were great. Okay, now we've got him. The real Carter would never go to a Starbucks. He thinks they're too liberal and pretentious. Coffee for Brent? <laughs> Latte for Cecil? <laughs> Beanie? <laughs> None of those people are real! I'm stealing all your sugar packets and napkins! Woodstock's ah. over! <laughs> Bro! Why is man such a menace, yo? God 
Damn. Brian, what the hell did you do? I, uh, may have told my former self about 9-11. What did I tell you about altering the past? Wait, wait, when did you even do that? Well, you remember when I said I was going to take a leak? Brian, you shouldn't have done that. Who knows what unforeseen consequences are awaiting us? Saddam Hussein could be president. Mexico could be the world's dominant superpower. Cookie Monster could have invented Facebook. What? What is this? Cookie Book. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. No! Oh no, That's it's that funny. Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey, Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, Damn. but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Junior's pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. You're right, you Lois. I shouldn't be bullying the people I care about. I should be bullying Randy Fulcher. He's the jerk in all this. Like Dick Cheney when he was a Walmart greeter. Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. Oh! Go f*** yourself. Oh! Look, those are cute blurbs, Stewie, oh! but I, I think I'm going to put together oh! a real act for real people. Good luck. God, it's like I'm the only person in the house who gets social media. That'll get it started. Hey, Peter, what's with the hat? I'm pretending to be a veteran. What? Yeah, it's awesome. Vets get all the sweet deals. I mean, you never see a homeless vet. And people have been really nice everywhere I go. They open doors for me. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hey, so when really fat people come, make sure we're opening both doors. Gentlemen, I give you Crystal Pepsi. All the great taste of regular Pepsi, but without that troublesome opacity. It's well, what, what if you... They got meth in it? <laughs> Crystal meth Pepsi. <laughs> I drink it. You're drinking a regular Pepsi and somebody's coming at you with a knife. Huh? You won't be able to see him past your Pepsi. And, 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 and then who's dead, huh? You! You! You're dead! Stabbed! Yep. Crystal Pepsi. Yep, stab, stab, streaming con! I'm gonna do an Instagram story here where I insult a loner and it becomes a whole thing. Oh! What's up, everybody? I'm here at Streaming Con 2019. Weird ponytail. Got oh. a whole booth of cat gifts here. Jif? How do you say? Uh oh. Hey man, I didn't say anything to that guy. This is ridiculous. You're hurting my wrist. <laughs> Check this out, guys. I got kicked out of Streaming Con 2019. Now I don't know if anyone watching this is a lawyer, especially a constitutional lawyer. But hey, hey guys. So I'm in my own trunk. Uh, I think I'm gonna get murdered. My name's got I do, me like. I forgot, I'm supposed to mention Triscuits. Really, all the Nabisco products. They're they're solid. You know, like on the back of Triscuits, when they give you the recipes for those snacks, like the, the mini pizzas? I swear to God, make those little pizzas. Hashtag it, Pete's Triscuit Life Hacks. Go ahead and check it out. Recipe in bio. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What the fuck? I got away! Hey guys, I'm in an Uber heading back to Streaming Con. Uh, man bun alert. Blah! What are you? Excuse me, how many BTUs does this grill have? Oh man, that puppy? More than you need, less than I want. I excuse me, do you have a small grocery cart I could put this boat-sized hunk of lumber in? Probably out in the parking lot. Can you tell me where I can find extension cords? Aisle 25. I was just there. 26. There is no 26. 15. <laughs> anyway, they even want me to do one of Tina Fey's Look How Quirky and Busy I Am credit card commercials. Wow, really? Yeah. Wait, I think it's starting. I hear a piano shuffle and a clarinet. Taxi! Where to? Any pet shop that sells snakes. <laughs> Somebody puking here? Yeah, last night some guy. Hey, it's you! Gotta go! Hi, can I help you? Can I press the button that moves to close? Sir, that's reserved for dry cleaners only. Wow. It's like a roller coaster ride for pants! Any calls? Your mistress called. She said she's waiting at the hotel for you. Tell her I'll be there as soon as I can. She said she's pregnant. Do you know if that Mexican doctor takes credit cards? He does. Yo! If you're scummy and on the go, try the new Visa Yo! Gold Card. 
be. How is the donkey supposed to abort the child for you, Peter? You're gonna have the pregnant woman stand right in back of the donkey when you slap its anus, and then it kicks the crap out of your pregnant girlfriend right in the stomach? Is that the plan? Because if it's not, it should be. Kids are, are, are worse than you think. Man, Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. Oh, I wish that scary looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. You know what? Enough feeling sorry for yourself. We're fixing this now. Get in the Robert car. McDonald, what? Bro. Why? You'll see. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't wanna. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter. I said supported. <laughs> By the way, don't go on the train ride. Oh, hey, did they ever unfreeze Walt Disney? Uh, unfortunately. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. Well, I have two questions. Will there be a stipend? Yes. Ah, and what is a stipend? It's a fee for being in the commercial. I'm in. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Ew, nigga. Don't oh. spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. What? Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. <laughs> Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nigel. Okay, now, sweetie, this isn't gonna hurt at all. Ah, those lying bastards at Johnson & Johnson! We'll put no more tears on the label. But it does make you cry. I know. <laughs> Brian, you took me out on my first Halloween tonight and you showed me an exciting time. And for that, I'm going to let you pick out some candy from my bag. Oh, thanks. And keep in mind, we can't use any actual brand names due to advertising concerns. Right, okay. I'll have uh, a Mr. Whippo bar, a Kooky Nut Pop, some Jim and M's, uh, a Zip Zap, a Choco Buddy, uh, a $64,000 bar, Ooh. a Nut A Finger, and a Dawkins peanut butter disc. Friends with that idiot after what he did. Well, I mean, that may be a little harsh. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette. Oh. I have to go swimming. Oh. oh. The song is about me. Oh. Well, it hasn't been easy. I've been doing the laundry and vacuuming. I barely had time oh, to put yeah, on a nice sweater that's, and clasp a cup of tea accurate. with two hands. And now to tie this sweater around my waist and walk around the neighborhood. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh, what? my God. Yes, I can. Okay. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything. It's just complicated, Nut. that's all. No, well, it really be like that, too. complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something. Like a date. Like a date date or like a date. Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first oh. three digits of my phone number. Email me. Dad! Bro, it's really like that. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. I did God. Ah. It makes my head hurt again.
because I've dealt with it in person. Boy, this is fun, eh? Except for the fact we're going to sit next to that woman who came with her co-workers. Huh, aren't we all pals? I work at the office. This is empowering. Maybe I'll get a dance, huh? You guys are probably going to be talking about this forever. A woman who's so cool with all of this? Huh? Jackpot! Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you! I love you! We're all such good friends! You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together! And that's where fat girls come from. Hope so. We were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! Oh, wow, you are definitely not afraid of desserts. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on, you have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So muscular. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. Peter, why don't you just sit in that booth over there? Oh, man, that's where the after-work secretaries sit. What about Mr. Jemerson? Is he single? I, I, I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? <sighs> I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh, oh hey, look, cake. Ah! Uh, excuse me, ah! can I get directions to the Providence ah! Civic Center? <laughs> do you like cake? Oh. Yes. Do you like my ass? No. Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? Yes. What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Yes. Well, Rusty, looks like we're going to eat our way out of another jam. I got to know if we should take 24 or 495. Hang on. Exit's coming up. Half a mile. Yep, this is <laughs> You think happens. I could find it? Yeah, yeah, I would. I would. Okay, I'm taking 495. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128. <laughs> Women, we've spent decades fighting for our right to vote. Whoa. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! <laughs> And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, can I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. No, no, or it worse. No, oh, shit. That was the right thing to do, Peter. Ah! Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Yeah. You're awful! Yep. The preceding joke was brought to you by yep. men. Men. We don't know. 9-11 changed. Nigga, it really be like that. I've had countless situations with females where they just freak out and I was doing nothing wrong. Tell me to do something. I would do it. And then they'd get mad at me for doing it. I just started like, you know what? Maybe their words don't mean anything. I think I'll just handle it like that. Just be cool, man. Just don't even take anything they say seriously. Works way easier. <laughs> way easier. Everything, Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Uh. Come on, guys. We don't have to make such a big thing about it. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm going to dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Not like 37-year-old yep. woman on a blind date fund. Oh, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm going to pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No, I just felt like killing. Uh, oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best time. Yeah. It really be like that, too. That's why you got to wait until they're uh, they're desperate. That's when they don't care that you're crazy or a killer or any of that 
stuff, you know? That's... <sighs> We're going to edit that out. Okay, so I know you're a harmonica, but right now you're a 40-year-old woman with a good body in a hotel pool. Hey, everybody, look at me. I work out seven days a week for these five minutes. Your attention is going to keep me from swallowing a bottle of pills. You listen to me, son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing. <laughs> yep, yep, there it is. You always say I never do yep. anything around here. Give me here. the business. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, and I got the rest from the car. Which... Chris, run! You were right! She didn't appreciate it! Oh, crap! Ow! <laughs> ah! Me. That's another... Pregnant. <laughs> Peter, take off that belt! The buckle smells like acid! <laughs> <laughs> no! Our no! society is doomed. People and technology are a bad match. Just like moms and Radiohead. Oh, no. No, no. This isn't music. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. Well, it's a nice apartment you have. Is this your dog? Yes. Isn't he the cutest little cutie wooty? Look how cute he is. Yes, he's very cute. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's cute, 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 cute. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay, okay. Look at him. Look at that face. Come on. No, look at that no. Face. You look at him. No. Look at that face. Oh, we don't need a map. Why? Uh, I got us a GPMS machine. Go up. What do you think? Just go up. Sorry. Okay, can everyone just stop freaking out and just give me like two minutes? God! Everyone's always yelling at me. What are all the questions? All right, well, maybe we'll turn you on later and see how you feel. Hello? Oh, jeez, it's, it's a girl. May I speak to the man of the house? This is the woman of the house, and there's oh, no shit. man living here. No? Wait, what, what is... I... I, I Oh, shit, she's masculine. You gotta tread lightly, subscribers. How you paying for this phone? I'm a lawyer. Oh, I see. And are you in your little courthouse right now, representing Barbie? Yeah, that was ah! a pleasant surprise. Ah! You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Yeah. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. What? <laughs> what? Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Yo! Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's perfect sense. You left the flap open. Like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now. It's freezing. Headline, woman cold. <laughs> Why do women have boobs? <laughs> so you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> so you got what? something to look at while you're no! talking to them. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! So you got... No! You, you, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Weed? <laughs> Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. No, You're doing do a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. Ugh. See, be careful giving ugly women compliments, because there's nothing worse than an unattractive, stuck-up chick. This is the worst arguments you'll ever have, man. That's a real quick way to be told that you have a small penis. Don't ask me why I know that so well. <laughs> God, this place officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Barry was over last night. And You cannot say that shit, bro. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. You can't say That's why she commands $7,000 a year. Nigga, you can't. Man, did she do it good? I don't know, John. That's for the fans to decide. 
Nigga, oh my God, I'm dead, I'm dead. The WNBA. God, this place officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to nine. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! <laughs> Barry was over last night and he- Don't tell me. He, he left, left the, the toilet, toilet seat up. up. <laughs> oh, I ran into Frank. It's funny, he fought in Vietnam, he's an exorcist, but there is one thing that terrifies him. Commitment! <laughs> oh, Midge, you're my third best friend in the whole world. Third? Who are the first two? Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Anyone can get mad, Chris. Even Shaquille O'Neal. Excuse me, my flapjacks was supposed to have a Superman S on them. Are you mad? I, I can't tell if you're mad. Very mad. This is unacceptable. What's the point of having millions of dollars if everything can't be Superman? Okay, well, we'll fix it right away. Is there anything else I can get you? Yes, a big ambulance. I am stuck in this booth. Don't forget, I was in that elevator with Jay-Z. Hey, could you have your guy hit two? I gotta get down to the business center to print out my boarding pass. Oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room yep. key. Whoop him out. Uh, Whoop him out. I should have known Peter had Sweep something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. What the fuck? Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God. No. Why? Why? My beautiful Nicole. My man, Ronald, who did this? Oh, man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. What the they hell? They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still. <gasps> ah, stop. It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. Guys, guys, I got an idea. How about we do a song that's not whiny bullcrap? Yeah, so you watch it, Fishman. We are gonna beat you so bad, you'll think you gave Chris Brown an STD. What? We're gonna beat you so bad, it's gonna be like you gave Chris Brown an STD. I am gonna use that, somehow. Not whiny bullcrap. Yeah, so again. you watch it, Fishman. We are gonna beat you so bad you'll think you gave Chris Brown an STD. Is that what happened? We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Chris Joni, Brown. Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No thanks, I had some in the car. Joni <laughs> Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. <laughs> hey, Chris Brown, I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your music. This is just gonna make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice, would you mind pressing the lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. Obviously the second happiest. Last thing you ever wanna do as a female is back talk Ray Rice. Ask his loving wife. Social drinker, not an alcoholic. Uh, uh, yeah, that's like saying rappers are really poets. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she's not messing with... Who isn't she messing with? <laughs> I don't even know why that's funny. All right, what could go wrong? It worked out great for... <laughs> Listen, 
I want to throw you the wildest bachelor party of all time. It's going to be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Can you catch us up on all the important things that we've missed? Oh. So no way! Kylie Jenner and Tyga are no longer together? Splitsville, my friend. How did Robert Kardashian die? Guilt cancer. From what? Oh boy. Robert Kardashian died? Damn. Okay, I'll put the Kanye canes in the stockings. You know, it's just like, you know, music and fashion, all that. You know, I can't be stopped. Whatever I do, you know, I just want to be the best because the best is never enough. Mark Zuckerberg promised he'd give me $50 million, fam, but then he welched and I'm penniless. Kanye is the greatest. Kanye drops the latest. There can be no debaters, and Kanye got the st You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting. Well, I'm sorry, but Kim Kardashian did get famous for making a sex tape. We all know that. That's not yours. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. It's new streaming oh. world. No! No! <gasps> Kim, what's wrong? A black ball went to waste. Bruh, if that's the case, I need to be hanging out around Kim Kardashian. Yep, there it is. Step wow, pivot, it looks step like turn. Michael Jackson's coming right step at me. Spin, wiggle, take your child and run. He humps a guy like me. Stewie, what? did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> No, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Even more aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. Yep, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. A bigger hit with the kids than Will Smith in his nice, clean rap. Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> I respect women when I'm on a date. I take them to the park, or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woo-hoo! What, what, what? What is it? What, what? Ah! About your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woo-hoo! Say ho! Ah! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! I've been in uncomfortable situations before. Up like there, bro. I meet famous people. Hey, what's up? I'm Snoop Dogg. Know what I'm saying? I do. But you don't, Peter. You don't. This is the Seth Rogen gene. It will give you the appearance of being funny, even though you haven't actually done anything funny. Hey, Doc, are we going to be much longer? i got to get some beers with the fellows before I go out on this date. <laughs> How charming and chubby. I'm rooting for you. Wow, look at that HD picture. Yeah, it's so clear you can even see Ellen DeGeneres' breath. Well, my guest today is uh, Seth Rogen, who's got a new movie out. Now, now, Seth, this movie is hot. It's just hot, hot, hot. Uh, how does it feel to have the hottest film in Hollywood? What the f it's the coolest George Clooney there is. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard, I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time, I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. It's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts in a nightclub? God, you're more out of place than Prince was on The Price is Right. And what's your bid on the dining room set, Prince? 350. I'm sorry? 350. Can you speak up, please? 350. All right, <gasps> and the actual retail price of the dining room set is $350. Yay. Oh, oh, we, we gotta get you to the hospital. Oh, oh, you're hideous. Who did this to you? Oh, oh, where's my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. You should probably take care of that. We did all we can, but medical science has come just so far. Ah! <gasps>
And now I will take off this protective potato head mask. Pearl. Hey, who wants to see it? I think you should know these growths on your forearms. They're giant tumors. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. <laughs> that you've managed to be walking around all this time is nothing short of a miracle. I'd say about two months. The free First, we get to see how she reacts when Jerome Rome, that big black dude come around and then she's like huffing and puffing talking about she can't take no more stick you gotta learn some gumption bitch she be all right give her a half a cup of water you know what i mean let her get a, a, a 15 maybe even a 10 second breather you know what i mean and get right back on on the uh metaphysical horse carriage that she was driving to work not like that we gonna edit this out this is not. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. The lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? <laughs> he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> your brother Glenn is lucky <laughs> You know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. Okay, here we go. Can it be both? The reason why that's so funny to me is because I've used that on people. Can it be both? Russell. Wait a minute, how the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> Your brother Glenn is lucky to be alive. Okay, here we go. Hold on, the wheelchair is coming first. And here's the baby. Congratulations, Mrs. Swanson. It's a beautiful baby girl. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God, she's dying. What? Oh, sorry, I was watching this Paula Poundstone comedy special. There we are, all finished. Oh, look at this. Look what happened. Ah -ha. Well, by the laws of comedy, you and I have to be roommates now. That's hilarious, Doc. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to prescribe a course of antibiotics and some painkillers and... Hey, Elmer. Hey. She sucks. This one time, I was so drunk, I gave someone a back adjustment. I'm not a chiropractor. You gotta go to a weekend of school for that. I think I can hear the ocean. Smell it, too. Your <laughs> Here's the lump in your breast is not black. Yeah! 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 Why did he just say that, bro? There's no way he just said that. Oh, I can hear the ocean. Smell it, too. <laughs> That is a fight, bro. You gotta fight this, bro. If you her husband or boyfriend, you gotta fight him, bro. Chiropractor, you gotta go to a weekend of school for that. I think I can hear the ocean. Smell it, too. Your test results came back <laughs> negative. It appears the lump in your breast is not black gross boob death. Breast cancer? That's the layman's term, yes. How long has your husband smelled like this? Oh, no, that's just from riding here in a hot car. But, Dr. Hartman, what about his hearing? Hearing? This is a hospital. I'm not a lawyer. Oh, for God's sake, is my husband deaf? Well, there's only one way to find out definitively. Hey, stupid deaf guy! Well, I've gotten the results back. He's deaf. You think it's gonna stay, Dr. Hartman? No, it's gonna be Dr. Ramirez now. I'm taking my husband's name. I'm talking about Peter's hair. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wedding on the brain. Hi, sweetie. We've discussed this. No to the mole. Chocolate is for cake, not chicken. Oh, come on. He's crying. I now declare this hair transplant officially over. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, he's back. You look great, Quagmire. Oh, my God. One of my patients on two has been shot. I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. I mean, I mean, your daughter's in a coma. What? Oh, my God. Did you, did you hear what I said? Uh, brain freeze. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that one is going in the Christmas letter. I love you, Lois. I love you too, Peter.
Is it cool if I tell your insurance that I gave you heart surgery? Meg, you remember Dr. Hartman? Of course he does. I performed her very first pelvic exam. Unless I'm confusing you with someone else. No, nope, that was... that was you. Please tell me, is my husband gonna be all right? Uh, Cancun, actually. Thanks for asking. Just got back. Hey, do you know where I could find any books about, um, the Pancrease? Peter, if I only helped people I liked, everyone in this hospital would be dead. Just do what I do. Help them out, then angry, footloose dance out your frustrations. Dr. Hartman, please report to cardiology. Dr. Hartman? I gotta go. And to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. What? Ah! I'm sorry, Mayor McCheese, but I'm not sure if any cosmetic surgery is even possible. Look, if it's a financial issue... Well, it's not an issue of money. Your head is a cheeseburger. There's no blood flow to it. It's just, it's just dead cow meat. All right, well, I appreciate you giving it to me straight. All right, then. Have a tasty afternoon. <laughs> ah, there's a smile. Hey, did that big Boomba Boomba nurse come in here? Uh, no. But Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her! That's her! Hi, Juanita! Hello, Doctor. Was that weird? Was I just weird? Yeah, you were. Yeah. You don't know, I was fine. I was able to remove his tumor. And if anyone wants to keep it, it's here in this Tupperware. This, this is half of a chicken cutlet. Oh, boy, what did I have for lunch? He's gonna have to undergo dialysis treatments three times a week. Dialysis? Is there any other way? Yes, there is. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no dialysis. The Brown family. Oh, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay, phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. Be cool, be quiet, be quiet. What? No! You know, Peter says no! we sound alike. Really? I don't hear it. Actually, what? I think I do hear it now. Really? Yeah, you know, we've never really had any extended interaction, so I've never noticed it. Hey, I think I hear it too. Seems lazy, doesn't it? Well, there's only so many voices in the world, some of them are bound to be similar. He switched around all the bones on the skeleton in my office. I don't know what's what anymore. Let's take a look at that wrist injury. That's my foot, not my hand. Words! Time of death, Bob. 808. I know numbers. Meg has type 2 diabetes. The one where you're supposed to shame her, not feel sorry for her. But I need to draw a little more blood for the lab. As I suspected, sap. Vermont gold. I love sugaring season. Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Doc, give it to us straight. What's going on with our friend? Well, Mr. Griffin, there's no easy way to put this, so I'm just gonna come right out and say it. He's black. Not that f- <laughs> Motherfucker! You motherfucker! You son of a bitch! Bro, you out! Bro, you can't- Go ah! on, bro! You can't- You can't do this! Bro! <laughs> Doc, give it to us straight. What's going on with our friend? Well, Mr. Griffin, there's no easy way to put this, so I'm just gonna come right out and say it. He's black. Not that friend, Quagmire. Oh, him. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Hey, what about He's these? Black. Ah, good choice. These are the only ones we have in stock that aren't hilarious. Mrs. Griffin, I'm going to write Stewie a prescription for ADHD medication. Really? Well, I don't know. Doesn't that stuff make you wired? Well, if you're low energy and lethargic, yes. But if you're high energy, it actually calms you down and helps you focus. At least that's what I'm reading on WebMD. Wow, there are a lot of different kinds of medicines. There's a cat in here. What? Oh, good heavens, that's something, isn't it? Oh, by the way, Mr. Griffin, regarding your x-rays, we're making a coffee table book. Can you sign this release, please? Okay, but first, can we address my husband's situation? Well, the harmonica's up there pretty good. Oh, my God. Whew. I thought that was a Nintendo Wii controller. I'm like, bro, what game were you playing? Unfortunately, removing it would require a very expensive surgery that's not covered by your TGI Friday's gift card. <laughs> can I go home? Well, you're not really ready, but if it's for revenge, you can stab me with this scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. How long do I have to live? One week.
While I give the rest of your diagnosis, I'm going to gradually talk quieter, as if I'm growing distant, to show how overwhelmed you are by this news. And I... <laughs> 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 seen your face. That's so uh, not funny. Now I gotta empty my pants. What's that? Acorns. Acorns? Acorns, that's what I said. Ah. You sound wow, that patient next door is fat. I can hear you. Uh, th that wasn't me. That was Mrs. Griffin. Now, before we begin, ah. I want you to know the record is just past my watch. <laughs> it takes two people to break a record. You look a little young. How old are you? Uh, 13? 14? 15? But, but he didn't force himself on me. I wanted it, too. Well, that's the important thing. Well, that's odd. Your vagina seems to have a penis and two testicles. Oh, right. I, uh, sneezed real hard and all that came out. Ah, that explains it. Could you do that thing where you take some fluid and tell me if it's going to be an imbecile or a cretin? Oh, not to worry. There are places where those people can be warehoused. This area is known as a hallway. Don't worry, you'll pick up on all the technical doctor jargon pretty soon. Hey, is it prescription or prescription? I think it's prescription. Prescription. Uh, that, just, that just feels weird in my mouth. Prescription. Yeah, prescription it's sounds better. better. Oh, and there's the ER. Don't go in there unless you want everyone to yell at you. Nurse, who's the worst doctor in this hospital? You are, Dr. Hartman. Good. Put Hartman on this bozo. Hey, what can I do for you? Please, Doc, you gotta help me with this nasty gash. What seems to be the problem? No, it's my husband. Oh, well, you've got a lot of nerve coming in here after what you did to television. Now get out! Please, Doctor, you've got to help him. You took an oath when you went to medical school. I took a lot of things when I went to medical school. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll have Hello? Ah! Just relax, Mr. Swanson, and let the anesthetic do its job. All right, Doc, I trust you. Good. Now I'll just pop in the how-to video, and we'll get started. What? <laughs> My nigga said I took a lot of things when I was in middle school. I was like, what? What? <laughs> oh, man. Hope one of those things wasn't penis. Dr. Hartman, thank you for coming. Well, actually, I'm Dr. Hartman's son. Dr. Hartman's son? But I asked for Dr. Hartman. His jokes are getting worse, Doctor. <clears throat> is there anything you can do for him? Now all we can do is wait. I've never had a pelvic exam. All right, I'm going in. If I tug on the rope twice, that means pull me out. God, who are the pigs who just throw their empty beer cans down here? Get up, you jerk! No, that's the good sound. Oh, well, why don't you just do everything? Hate this stupid hospital. Well, chances are Peter never would have survived the surgery. I mean, I mean, dog kidneys? I mean, I'm not even sure dogs have kidneys. What? The dogs have kidneys? Yes. Ah, this. This is the guy. And how are you today, Mr. Patient? My last name is Saunders. That's an interesting pronunciation. <laughs> Little tip, Meg. The inside of this folder has a diagram of the human body. Kind of a cheat sheet. Dr. Hartman, is Peter gonna be okay? Ugh, if one more person asks me about a patient today, I'm gonna scream. His lab work shows he is suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh my god, are you saying Scotty has cancer? I don't know, I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable. <coughs> Oh, for God's sake. Look, do you have any idea how expensive medical school is? No, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty expensive. I'm walking home! I'm sorry, Mr. Swanson. Ah! Hospital rules. You have to leave in a wheelchair. <sighs> <laughs> now, see, right now I'm listening for cancer. Do you mean his heartbeat? Maybe. Here, you take a turn. Wow, your heartbeat sounds a little fast. Do you smoke? Actually, I do. Ah, me too. Isn't it great? Well, that's bad for you. You shouldn't do it. It raises your heart rate and can lead to emphysema or cancer. That's impressive, Meg. It's no big deal. It's just stuff I learned in health class. Well, you're clearly a bright young lady. And you've got quite a... head on your... shoulders. Ah! Yep, oh, yep. Right, I'm just Grand going to push. put on a pair of gloves and we'll yep, deliver this baby. Push, there it is. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. What? I'm completely paralyzed. I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes. Okay, Dad, you got us in. Now just go. You're gonna have to take things from here, I guess. What? Well, you now know about as much as I do about this whole doctor thing. And don't forget the cheat sheet if you need a helping 
Hand. I'm afraid she's dead. You can tell by her shallow breathing and weak but clear heartbeat. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I took the liberty of x-raying my own hip to show you what a normal one looks like. Why does it look like there's a Batmobile in your colon? Just keep your eyes on the hips. So what's the next step? I was hoping whenever the bat signal goes up in the sky, this thing will just drive out. Oh, Peter, I think it's a wonderful idea. Why haven't you sent for help? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's the attitude. That's 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 more grateful, huh? Hey, what do you guys do after the screen goes black? I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. Nah. I have to kill myself. I can't live it like make this. make more sense to kill her? <laughs> you can tell on me. Same way for yeah. years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. What the hell is Alzheimer's disease? Are those testicles? Where did Mega. you get those? I don't remember! Ugh. We've got to stick together Rip like that two-headed girl on TLC. Off, man. How do you even okay. do that? Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? That's I'm tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand <laughs> with Chris? All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. How the Robin, hell? you're gonna have children. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Oh, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that what wasn't the she? cord, and now you've got a girl. Don't Nigga. be afraid oh. to be honest with a girl and show up who you are. <laughs> Wow. So that's why Meg's Thanks, so Lois. ugly. That's the second best advice anyone's ever they given They cut her me. penis off when she was younger. I don't know, younger. man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with H. Yeah. Well, for the next 72 hours, Jesus, I'm going to be Christ. to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Way to miscarry? Mittens. What type of well, shit? She's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can what help. What the fuck? Well, I read you this book. It's called. Bro, I would at least George. get rid of my cat after George that. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay. I've How the enough. hell do you lose interest in doing the most natural okay. things that they do? Like what the hell? Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No. Oh boy. Ah, fudge. Wait, I know. This nigga look like that scientist off of the Harry this. Potter shit. The, the, pieces the one with the there, really right? fat eyeball. Out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now PBS presents Albino That's Children Are Normal. So with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes, the moon is my son. I like to kill the beetles. The moon is my beetles son. Beetles are teachers. I sleep <laughs> with a fork. That's what all the I star sleep athletes with the fork. do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment Bro, they get. Even they during school that shootings. Kevlar vest? Oh! Kevlar vest? Just go hand out! Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> then next year, you can have a vest. <laughs> this is trespassing what? and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Oh, that's not nice, bro. Not overly affectionate. <laughs> yeah, don't act the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Bro, Except he that ain't shit for that. From the Hunger Games, he was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. The special I Hunger you, Games, Andy. bro. You can't hey, do that. Fight. This is Kevin's They're already disabled. Since he you came home from Iraq. Make him fight to the Kevin death now. The bus stop. It never gets on a bus. Please don't bring that up. Don't That's bring at least anything rude. he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon Bruh. nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're going to start oh. dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. Yeah, this is That's what terrible. you are, and this is what I am. It's been three weeks, and you haven't mm -hmm. had a single job lead. Well, that is not true. I came really <laughs> close for that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. Oh! oh. There, there it is. World Star is ass. Turn up. Turn up.
Oh my Top god, this morning. has been a 12 minute Top round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. <laughs> I'm a 12 year old. Why does every fight have to go too. to the death? My name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? It is all hey, bad. Hey, you're not a 12 year old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. I wonder if that's ever happened before. Like, if one pedophile has ever been on a computer, thought he was talking to, like, an underage boy or whatever the hell he was looking for, but there was some other dude who was also a pedophile on the other side, thought he was talking to, like, a 13-year-old girl or some shit, and then they meet up. <laughs> Where are you going to go? I don't know. Yep. Somewhere far away. Yep, far away. I hear they got NASCAR there now. They got NASCAR in China, my nigga? Oh! That is amazingly racist. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see really? what happens. Really? Pakistan sent that letter? And everybody duggies. I mean, dies. They did at not the same need much. Time. Boy, what yeah. a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. Ooh. Ooh. Damn! I got the guy. Oh, thank God. I really <laughs> dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. Oh! You forgot to I say. I forgot to say clear. Shit! I love that piece you did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. What? Yeah, that would be the ending to this day. With a sperm from James Blunt. What the hell is There's that? Doris Wank and Gary Busey. Oh. Lawrence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. That okay, is racist. I, <laughs> I got my phone <laughs> Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Like people yep. in massive debt. Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film Fuck. and action. I missed him. You would have had it. Damn it. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Damn it. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> ah! That was a whole quiet operation. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, get him. Turn up on him. Oh, shit. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Oh! Ah! <laughs> yep. That's what uh, happens. You don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They Got believe in jumped. all kinds of weird stuff. If I That's how we do in the hood. Enough, I will not die. If I believe what? in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Oh! Hey, thank you, Tree Jesus. Griffins have a long history One of, them of was figuring right. stuff out. Like my great grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. What? This gives me an idea. That's not what? She's dead. Wow! Able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's what the not hell is that? Who is it? What is that? Something to get, bring him the remote? Oh! I died! I died! <laughs> <laughs> join heaven, Bonnie. Come join. My nigga thought he died, bro. I'll be honest. Yes, it's nice finally. To be acknowledged by the chief <laughs> Usually, he just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here. That is. Hey, <laughs> this punk's not worth it. You're right. Hey, yeah, he is. You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your <laughs> anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a. Clip. What? People got along just fine for thousands of years without AA, just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? Yep, there it is. Yep, kill you each other immediately. Fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Immediately. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You <laughs> did the paperwork, Ryan. Oh my God, my old harmonica. I'm going to play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. 
Yep. Always Armenian. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old gonna go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that, I do, but uh, some of us are trying to sleep. And I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne. Ah! Right? I can smell it in my bed, and I live two ah! houses from here. Ah! That's how powerful ah! it is. Okay? Ah! That's how powerful it is. You like ah! it? Yeah, I kind of like it. Boy, Connie must really mean business. Ah! Like an kinda Armenian like kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy, can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. Yep. Yep. Well, there is. Okay, Stui. This is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Yep, there it is. Good Night Chernobyl Moon. Good Night Radiation House. Yep. Good Night Melted Phone. Yep. Good Night Glowing Milk. Yep. Good Night Bleeding Grandpa's glowing Eyes. Glowing Milk? Good night, two-headed cat. Good night, what? nobody. What? Good night, blocks and blocks and blocks of nobody. What? The end. Next book. Everybody poops. Blood. No! <laughs> Bro, they almost made me choke on my hot Cheeto. Everybody poops. Blood. <laughs> Ah! Yo, I'm gonna have to turn that into a music video. It'll be a love song. Young child support. <laughs> My muffins are ready. You made muffins? Well, it wasn't the muffin fairy. Or was it? <laughs> Go ahead, try it. Pay that. Try it. Dad, I think Mom's right. Maybe you should go back to that doctor. Well, now, wait a minute, Meg. Let's not be too hasty. These are delicious. Huh? What's the secret ingredient? Spoojizikum. Oh, <coughs> Ew! What the what? Oh, oh, you, oh, you thought, no, 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 no. Spoojizikum. It's a sugar substitute from the Czech Republic. That's right, Spoojizikum. No. no, would never put it in my mouth. Don't trust it. Never trust Spoojizikum, people. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell a story off that one either. You know, not this time. I can use smoking to get out of anything. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine, more women, more table. <laughs> Ah, I'm having yep. a heart attack. There it is. is anyone at the table a doctor? There it I is. Am. Come here, hurry, run! But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Couldn't make it in time. Yeah, and yep. I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about. You know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! That's the gatekeeper. We just show it a key, and we get free food. Yep, just keep it simple. Now, if asked, we're brothers from Sweden. Same mom, different dad. Well, shouldn't it be same dad, different mom? No, no, no. The Swedes have a very long fertility window, Chris. Trust me on this. Remember, big accent. Hey, guys. FYI, breakfast is closing in five minutes. Yeah! Yeah! We're doing it, Chris. Our cover story is working. I'm looking for a pair of half-brothers with different fathers from Finland. Hello? Hello? What the it's shit? Damn! This is why Sweden, Chris. Never Finland. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. Damn, bitch! Just go murder! All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine. I double-checked. Here's your Mike's. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. Isn't it? <clears throat> people of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. 
First off, I'd have to ask, how did their sound engineer know what a gay threesome sounded like? Yeah, I mean, you gotta ask the questions, people, because that sounded too spot on. Not that I know what it sounds like. I'm just saying. Well, this is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a jackhammer. <laughs> we now return to Germany's favorite talk show, Das ist gut. Dad, what is this show? I don't know. It's just das a German guy listing items and then declaring them good. Das ist gut. Welcome in. Where are we? Das ist gut. Okay, sunsets. Das ist gut. Ja. Das ist gut. Sauerkraut. Das ist gut. No. The Autobahn. Vroom vroom. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. music. Das no. ist gut. No. Euthanasia for the mentally feeble. Das ist gut. Das ist gut is filmed before an audience of the mentally feeble. Das ist gut. Oh! God, I wish I could get tickets to that show. What's up, shit? Oh, that's alles wieder normal is. Uh -huh. Tut mir leid uh -huh. wegen deinem Auto, Joe. Es ist in Ordnung. Wo ist nun Jerome mit den Wiener? No. 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 Wiener. Hallo, no. ich bin seine Dick, nicht der für Frau Hosel. Ich bin seine Dick. Was ist das, du? Ich bin so ein Donnerstag. No! Gute Nacht von Das Disney Corporation. Disney produces porn? Where can I watch it? <laughs> I grew up in the hentai days, man. Not that I've ever watched a, a lot of it as a child. And three weeks ago, we gonna edit that out. <laughs> Apparently the Greeks have a bunch of different gods. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. Poseidon is the god of the sea. And I am Kronos, the god of time. Oh, cool, what do you do? I tell the time and make gift baskets. So, are you also the god of gift baskets? I don't know. You tell me. Rosewood mango candle? Kronos? No. I know, I know. It's 4.30, by the way. What if I do with a candle? What if I do with a candle? Huh? Huh? The people of Troy's chocolate has gotten into our peanut butter. The people of Greece's peanut butter has gotten all over our chocolate. We could perhaps try the combined taste, or we could fight to the death! <gasps> Guys, stop! The Battle of the Greases Peanut Butter Cup has gone on too long. Let us agree to disagree! Huh. What a pleasantly de-escalating phrase that I'm just now hearing for the first time. Yes, we will agree to disagree. The war between the Greeks and the Trojans is over! Yeah! To Greece! Dis dis now, let's go call a bunch of jagged rocks a beach. <laughs> that's exactly how it is, too. Yeah, Dad, I don't want to exactly be here. Like. I want to be chilling with my homies. Now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish heritage. Oh! 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 No! What? No! What? Ah! Yeah! Ancient archaeological yeah! evidence indicates that yeah! Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most ah! experts believe it was something like this. What? Gentlemen, today <laughs> we Ireland's top. <laughs> Let's see that shit again, bro. Nigga, what type of shit? What type of shit? <laughs> Female rose out bet. <laughs> and then she comes back, he hits her the same eye. I don't want to be here. I want to be chilling with my homies. Now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish heritage. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. Yep. Ah! It's the only way they learn. Ah! Yep. yep, that's exactly what, that's what she wants. That's what she wants. 
<laughs> Ancient archaeological evidence indicates that Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. <laughs> Gentlemen, today we, Ireland's top scientists, have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, it's a glorious day. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. Hey, what's that? I thought all the space shuttles were decommissioned. Well, we always keep one spacecraft flight ready. In the event a satellite needs service, there's a space station emergency, or an Italian guy needs to over-exaggerate. I swear to God, Johnny, I've had it up to... Here with your BS. Ooh, he's really had it this time. I'm sorry, Louie. All right, then. Boy, you know, I've always wanted to come in here. And now that I got a mustache, the timing feels right. Wow, all this stuff looks pretty good. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi. Babbity boopy. Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Babbity boopy. Babbity boopy da babbity babbity. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Boopity bapa. Bopa baby bopa bapa baby bapa. Tu sei un pazzo, va a vedere qui. Bopa baby bapa. Sono stanco di te, ti do un pugno nella testa. Io giro con questa carne. All right, class, today we're going to be talking about variables. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, it's Man, just a rear yeah. end. We all have one. Mine what? just happens to be a hot Brazilian woman. Bro, homie has had three BBL. God Jesus! Ass fatter than a swamp possum with the mumps. No, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslic? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Never take clothing advice from your mother. They want the best for you, but just not when it comes to fashion. It's, it's all the way bad. Oh! Bear Scares, Latvia's number one bear prank show. Now available in Region 3 DVD. Holy crap, they fired him? Oh my god. Oh well, now back to my life. <laughs> bear Scares, we'll be back after message from state-run industry. Shirt.gov, shirt.gov is only place to get your shirt. <laughs> anyway, I just thought it might be helpful to reconnect with them. It's funny, but I, I have no memory of living with them. Yeah, sort of like Chris doesn't remember we stole them from a Dutch family. What's this now? We have a hetero later, Ober. Ober, right? Yeah, back your tech, you mishacked. I'm glad everything is back to average. Yes, it's happy to be back home. I too uh -huh. am gleeful. You are improper. Your hair is like hay. A horse would eat it. Go into the wood-burning oven. Excuse me? <sighs> I miss our stolen son in America. Do you think he remembers us? What a shoe? <laughs> Family man, Dutch TV is probably not that great, we assume. I won, everyone! I won! Other kids, Stewie lost, and he deserves our ridicule. Hey, whoa, 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 wait! And there was a weird cucumber thing. That son of a bitch. Come back here! <laughs> oh, you can do it, Stewie, for sure. Free your foot, and together we will bump wieners. But it's stuck, Norwegian mid-level model girlfriend. Oh, just un untie your shoe is how. Oh, duh! Stewie, when will you free me from this thought bubble hell? Not for a while. I may need you if I run for office. Hey, what's it like buying food from school? It's good. I know everyone back there, so they let me drink the corn water. Boy, it's so great having someone I can talk to. And my hearing is going out. I thought he said porn water. I'm like, Chris, no. What? Never drink the porn water, people. If I can give you any good advice. I feel the same way, Chris. I think you and I could get along very nicely. Yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. 
dribble, dribble, dribble. Talking shirt, give to my friend. Spin on finger, two rotations, dream about window. Put away basketball, go to work in calcium mine. Ah! That was funny. Up to Hitler went. Damn! Damn! <laughs> yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not at all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? This channel is actually called Portuguese. I figured he was being punny when he put this in. And we're just getting started. Well, first let me thank you for answering the ad. Now, what do you feel qualifies you to be an effective babysitter for Stewie? A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. I'm sorry, Why? Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. Oh. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. Wolf milk? We now return to popular Russian fuck? cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. What? Really? I forgot uh, to. Yes, if perchance it is beautiful, I reserve the right to cry. Peter, I can't imagine any scenario where this is going to be beautiful. Oh, I can. I'm a very passionate man. Haven't you ever seen my Spanish soap operas? Mi amor! Oh, shit! Papa! Yep, that's the that's regular. Nino! Damn, man! Bueno. Wagmire, what, what, what are you doing here? You don't have kids. <laughs> don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. Hey, you know, we should drive up there and use that car to eat for free. That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Mm. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. Oh, oh, I want to do one. This is better than a spin class where the instructor is just two giant Swedish legs. Congratulations! 80% of success is just showing up. The other 20% is super loud five-year-old Coldplay songs. Yeah! Who's ready to puke at 5 a.m.? Yeah! yeah! Ah, this is great! Peter, where are you? I'm a spin class bicycle seat. <laughs> oh no! The one middle-aged post-gastric bypass guy! Oh! He didn't clean these shorts from last class! <laughs> <laughs> I say, Brian, look, three rows down. What? Is that Tom Bosley? What would Tom Bosley be doing on a train in Switzerland? I'm, I'm almost certain. Tom! Did he look? I don't know. Well, if I yell, you have to watch. Tom Bosley! No, it's not him. Huh. We here at Channel 5 would like to leave you with some highlights of mankind's brief existence, like the Battle of Hastings. Guys, if we win this, we get Hastings. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. All right, Hastings. The Ottoman Empire. Ah, I could get used to this. You know what? This is what I want our empire to be about. Thanks for the ride and your unsolicited racial theories. I'm telling you, is the Turks every time. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
The medical emergency distracted the family from her crimes. She never did confess. Instead, the Griffin's Muslim neighbor was arrested for the break-in. Lois said nothing, and the man was deported back to Turkey. See what I tell you? Always Turkey! So, I've got Stewie's results here. Um, it'll 50% of the time, it's Turkey every time. Appears the back brace has corrected the spine very nicely. That's wonderful. Stewie doesn't have to wear the brace anymore. What? No, I can't give this thing up. Wait, what do you mean? You, you want to keep wearing the brace? Of course I do. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. When I wear this brace, I get pampered like the Queen of England. So, I have the most money in the world, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Great. Can you make sure my hair looks like anyone in a nursing home? Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. I don't want to talk about it. I'm... At least he was nice to him when he found it. Well done. Just gonna watch British porn. You know, Margaret, we could have sexual intercourse right now. Yes, yes, we could. Mm, but let's not. It was awfully nice of our new neighbors to invite us over for dinner. I don't know, Lois. Going to Cleveland's house with someone else living there just seems weird. Like when a new pope moves into the Vatican. Hi, I don't know who to complain to about this, but I'm still getting XVIII's mail. Yeah, no. No, he's not here anymore. This is XXIV. Yeah, no, I don't need Newsweek. No, I don't need National Geographic. Uh, you know, no, yeah, no, we'll, ha we'll hang on to Boy's Life. I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard to eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna wanna know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about what? this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this <laughs> carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. What I'll the... take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. <laughs> ah! Hello, every pizza place. This is why Sweden, Chris. Never Finland. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. And you grab an orange juice that doesn't taste like orange juice, but like someone described the taste of orange juice to an alien. Mmm. Hey, so uh, what's your afternoon like? Good. I don't have plans. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Huh? Oh, hey, Brian. You want to come up? Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Right here. Jump up. No. Nope. She trying to smash. Come on. There's a spot right here. Come on up, be a friend. Just jump up. I know you want to come up here. Jump the hell up here, you dope. I demand that you jump up here and be a companion. Be a companion! Get up here! Mommy? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to scratch your forehead for a while, so don't seem like you like it at first and suddenly bite my hand for no reason. <laughs> So he's a cat now. Yep, that's how cats act. Ow! Oh! It. I'm gonna go online and buy you a $70 toy you'll hate. Ah, uh, Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Well, oh, yeah. That's super oh, relatable. Those are looking good. Yeah, those yeah, are looking that's good. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose your juices. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Super along, relatable. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. <laughs> Time to eat. Thanks again for coming, guys. It really means a lot to me. Of course, honey. We wouldn't miss it. Plus, it's a good excuse to put on my winter coat and find items from last year still in the pocket. Ooh, sticky pennies, a rock-hard starburst, an appointment card for my next dental appointment that's already come and gone. A ticket stub for a matinee of Interstellar? An unwrapped piece of dentine? A yarmulke from when that Jewish guy died? 
A breath mint from the now defunct Chlorets Corporation? Printed out map quest directions to Dave and Busters? Iron Man Band-Aid? Flintstone vitamin I didn't take because it was Barney? Refrigerator magnet from local electrician who is now arrested? And balled up tissues with last year's flu on it. You done with your pocket bits? It's freezing. Oh, it was easy. I just took it while you guys were yammering on. I swear, I felt like I was waiting for Lois to get off the phone. Oh, that is amazing. All right, Barney. Well, it was good talking to you. No way she did. Why did she say that? You know what? That doesn't surprise me. I that's how she is. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. Just awful. Well, you give them my best. Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Coles. You've never been to Coles? Well, let me tell you about Coles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the How street. How women conversate. <gasps> Bonnie? Oh. Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go. Okay, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just going to read her book. Okay, I'm just going to walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound. If you know what? what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh... I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Every time. Are you time. serious? Dad's Every gonna run time. the house? Hey, I can do it. I mean, it can't be any harder than that job I used to have at the bowling alley. Bowlerama. Yes, we're open. Oh, yes, we have a wide selection of balls that are way too heavy or have too small finger holes. Uh, no, you will not be able to do anything with your wrist for seven days afterward. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. All of the joysticks in the arcade are completely covered in pizza grease. No worries there. Yep. What's that? Oh, absolutely. There is always a group of teenagers throwing the ball real hard and scaring everyone. Yep. No, there is no smoking, but we do let you smoke. Yes, it's all terrible. Come on down. Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number two. Um... Number one. Number two. Um, about the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Uh. Five. And six. Uh. About the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five. And six. Yeah, they're about the same. Dad, can you pass the bread? Sure. But don't forget the butter that looks like decorative bathroom soaps and is impossible to smear. Bro, that butter Dad. really is this impossible really to smear on that it. bread. It really is like that. Stewie, I'm not really much of a fast food eater. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, hello? Ah! Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Oh, hailing You'll frequencies open, huh? Like <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, ah! we're gonna get uh, uh, two McChicken sandwiches and a Diet Coke and... 
Uh, uh, what do you want, Michael? I make DLT. No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, what sometimes it's DLT, a regional thing. Bro? You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. I'd love a shamrock shake if they got any of those. It's September, Jonathan. Stewie, can I take this headband off? No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDLT. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, serve breakfast all day! <laughs> do they have beer? <laughs> Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. Look, Kimmel, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Your life is full of big decisions, like deciding whether or not you're going to have time to masturbate. Oh, Kimmel, no. I'm going to run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or ten minutes. Well, which is it? Some show. <laughs> oh, as those men showed like me that. the way to an identity I've been searching for my whole life. <clears throat> I am going to do everything a redneck is supposed to do. Ugh, this is going to be more painful to watch than when he ate half a fudgesicle in one bite. Oh, boy, a fudgesicle. <laughs> Ooh, man, spending a whole day with him is going to be worse than eating at a ballpark. I ain't never uh, seen I'll that take happen. one terrible beer filled up way too high, so I spill most of it, and a too long hot dog on a too short bun. And do you have mustard and relish? Yeah, it's right there between the entrance and the exit to the bathroom. Perfect. And can I get a bag of unsalted peanuts? You know, something I would never eat anywhere else in the world. Sure, here you go. Great, great. I can't wait to have diarrhea in the stall with no door while 20 guys wait for me to finish. Yep. <laughs> It'd be like Hi, that. Uh, I'd like to be an Uber driver. Okay, sure. Welcome aboard. Don't I... Don't I need to fill out a form? Or... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Name. Peter Griffin. Criminal history. This section is optional. I will skip this. And done. Here you go. Yeah, none of this really matters. All I need to know is, do you have a car, a phone, and a face? It's my dog's car. Oh, and I know you didn't ask, but I am quick to anger. Okay, great. Now get out there and try to kiss as many ladies as you can. The record is 60 in a month. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. Oh, look. What are you doing? Turn that chainsaw off. Not a chance, Lois. You know how hard it was to get that thing started? It was even worse than trying to cover anything with saran wrap. It, bro, it really is like that. It's super hard to cover anything in Saram wrap. Uh, that shit sticks to everything. Yeah, I mean, on the bright side, you can make a condom out of uh, Glad wrap, some duct tape, and uh, uh, and a and a Snickers bar wrapper. <laughs> it really be like that. Yep, there you go. That's what you got to work with. Yep. Should look like a Batman single, like a Batman thong. Yep, and then it doesn't even stick. There you go. <laughs> yep. Yep, go right back in for it. Going in for a second attempt. Bro, you got to pull out more of it. You need at least five times the circumference of the plate. <laughs> Nigga, it's over, bro. It's not, it's not good. It's over. Perfect. Can't wait to throw that out in two weeks. That will and always will be utterly terrifying. 
The most relatable ones to me is when you pet a cat and they act like they like it and then they just start just just having that yo you know ripping you up like Wolverine one minute they're cute cuddly and their bodies are vibrating while they make that really attractive sound and then on the other end they claw you up like Wolverine in the last Logan movie. And of course, the second one being when you're trying to smear fancy restaurant butter on their extremely rough-edged whole grain wheat bread. It's not as easy as they say, but yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD, Twisms.